This shot is designed to focus on placement and power. It is best used as a strong shot to speed up the rally. Slice shots hit the ball in such a way that it begins to spin backwards. This slows down the ball, changing the timing of gameplay and throwing off your opponent. Top spin shots will spin the ball forwards towards the receiver, causing the ball to bounce higher off the surface. This can be used effectively as a standard rally shot. Lob shots can most effectively be used when the opposing player is in the net. When hit correctly, the ball will fly over your opponent and towards the baseline. Drop shots are hit softly to ideally land just over the net. This is a risky shot if not hit well. The ball can hit the net and land in your side of the court. The drop shot is best used when the receiver is behind the baseline. Aggressive shots require more stamina to perform and are ideally used when going for a winner. If timed poorly, the ball will be more likely to miss the target and go out. Volleys are shots played at the net, generally hit before the ball hits the ground. The more time spent at the net, the easier it is for the opponent to lob it. Smashes are high shots played at the mid-court or net when an opponent attempts to lob you. These have a higher chance of going out this time. Move your player along the baseline on the left stick. Press a button to start the serve action. Use the left stick to aim at the serve. Serve shot types are flat, slice, and topspin. Power is indicated by a semicircle by the player's head. As you accumulate more power, the bar will begin to increase. The power bar will stop increasing at the moment of release. The circle above the player's head will fill with the colour when beginning your shot selection. This represents the accuracy of your timing. Timing the perfect shot can be done by releasing input at the correct time, represented by a green highlight. The more powerful the shot, the more stamina will be used. The blue power area will progressively become smaller as the bar takes into account the stamina lost by both the previous shot, red, and from previous shots, black. Doubles is played with two players on each side of the court. Be particularly aware of your partner's positioning in this mode, as you will need to work in tandem to win points. Use doubles tactics to move you or your partner around the court. Play from the net or the baseline, utilising eye formations where necessary to play intelligently. Challenge a call you believe is incorrect. A successful challenge will occur when correcting the umpire. However, if the original call was correct, you will have one less challenge for the set.